or I'm back in the morning and um, to get the stag legs are just up there uh, that's the body of the stag down there and I'm not kidding you I have passed not probably five six deer stood up on the way just getting in here and um, on top of that there was a female bedded right there stags there female was bedded right there next to that tree I'm not kidding you big female and she just stood up and she just looked at me I was like what are you doing run and then she goes then she just took off since I said run she just took off started running um, I would never believe that in a million years a dead animal half its body missing there's an animal bedded right near it so let that be a lesson to you and believe me that's a lesson to me uh, don't always think that they're going to disappear but I've been wondering where the deer are all in these areas for a long time and I've finally worked it out in this area it's taken me 15 I reckon probably almost 18 years in this area because I've been hunting all the different areas but now I've worked out where they're all bedding and that is sensational because I can just come back here every year at the same time or just whenever but you know if something's in rut you'll have to work out which deer's in rut of course and when uh, I don't know if there's any more in right here. That one was, but there might not be others. You just got to have a look around. But, unreal. That's never stop learning with Samba. Unreal. All right, let's get these legs and back straps and all the rest out and cut it out. <laughs>